Welcome back to game day, game day, game day. We had fun with our last game, our English game, and this game will be no exception. I found a game on the new website that we just got on this, this time called Movie Night Measurement. And that's exactly what we've been talking about in math. We've been measuring. So we're going to get a chance to practice some measuring today. But before we do, or to get ready for our game, we are going to get our lined paper in here so that we can show that we know what we're doing here. Okay, so here's our lined paper. Again, let's get our name and date. Right up at the top. It says name. Huh? Maybe. Name. And this is two. I wonder if I wrote on your English. I wonder if I wrote the wrong date. Forgive me if I did. It was the 19th. And now that I think about it, I think I did write the wrong date. I'm sorry about that. Which is kind of crazy because I put yesterday's date on today's paper when for me it's still the 17th. So today's lesson game is called Movie Night Measurement. Let's see if we can find it here. Up on, um, here. Look at all the games these have. Look how fun. I see one over here on time. We may have to do that one. We haven't reviewed time in a while. Here's a bar graphing one. Look at this color graph one. We have so much fun to be had. So much, so much, so much. Lots of fun. So lots of lots of good. Thing. So where's my measurement? There it is, right there. Here we go. Movie night measurement. Okay, we better get that down on our paper. Can you remember all that? Your paper again. I'm going to write movie night. Movie night measurement. Okay. And don't forget to do some yes no's for me. So our paper is nice and spaced out. You can pause this video and finish that up and then come back when you're ready to play the game. And here we go, movie night measurement. I like how this one pulls the screen up in the middle, makes it easy to read. All right, five inches tall. Here's our choices. This one, this one, this one, this one. Who is five inches tall? You want to take a guess? Hmm, whose turn is it to guess? I think I think it's Brianna's. I think it's Brianna's turn to guess. Brianna, who do you guess? Do you guess maybe the ice cream? Let's try the ice cream. Let's drag the ice cream down. What? Thought we dropped it on the couch. Now remember. When we measure, we have to make it touch the very end of the ruler. It won't hold it up there. We have to make it touch the end right here. Let's try it. Hmm. And then we're going to look on that tail. That, oh, it's not going to stay up there for me. Come on. Come on, ice cream. He's not going to stay. And then we have to look. I'll show you. 
we have to look at the end of his tail and where he lines up here. And the one that ends up on the ruler at the five is the one we want. So let's try the ice cream again. You see, we start him over at the zero. We start at the very tip of his head on zero and the very tip of his tail goes to the five. Can you see it? Can you see it? It is the ice cream is five, Brianna got it. Okay, so now let's go and make our choice. So on our paper, we're going to write, for number one, we're going to write ice cream. Who can spell ice cream? I C E cream. C O E M M ice cream. And let's try it and see if we got it right. We'll choose the ice cream. Yay! Mmm. Now we need to measure Floyd. So let's, we're going to put Floyd on the edge and we're going to see where his feet end up. And that's going to be, here he goes. Lay him down and put him all the way to the zero. <gasps> where do his feet go? Right at the four. Do you see it? See how his feet end up right at the four? So we'll choose the four. Oops. Oops. Come back. Hold up. We jumped ahead of ourselves. So let's go. Let's come back to our paper. We're behind. All right. So we need to put for this one. We said Floyd was four. Four inches, four inches for Floyd. Okay. Now we can go back to the drink. Let's see. Drink back up. All right. Let's look at our drink. We can lay it down, the end of it all the way to the zero. Now, does it work if I do it right here? And I say, oh, it's seven inches. Is that right? No, it's not right at all, is it? Because we didn't start over on the edge. So I have to start over on the edge. And if I look, I see that straw. It's right on the number two, doesn't it? Two inches. So that's what we're going to say. So let's come up and write that on our paper, two inches. He knows today. What does that mean? Somebody's thinking about you or something? What is it supposed to mean? Go back to our game. Two inches. Here we go. Yay! What of these things are one inch tall? Let's see. We asked Brianna last time. So now it's Preston's turn. Preston, what do you think is one inch tall? You think it's the popcorn? Mm, no, that looks taller than one inch. What do you think? How about the remote? Let's try the remote, says Preston. There he goes. We set it right up there on the edge. It's exactly one inch tall. Perfect. Let's get that written down. Let's write it down. Remote. Moat R E M O T E. The remote is one inch tall. Let's check it out. All right. Five, 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 five. 
This one. Yay! Three inches tall. Hmm, that was Preston. Hunter, your turn. What is three inches tall? And if you look, we already looked at it. We already tried it out. Hunter says the popcorn. Let's try the popcorn. Let's lay that popcorn down. There it is. <gasps> look, it's right on the edge on the three. I think that's it. I think we got it. Let's write it down first. Let's write down popcorn. How do we spell popcorn? That's going to be P O P C O O N. Popcorn. There it is. Okay, very good. Let's see if we're right. Oh, right. Ta -ta -ta -ta. We win. We did great. Nice job. Nice job. Good job. All right. Very good. Okay. Nice job on this today. Let's go ahead and I'll give you one more sight of this paper so that you can make sure you have everything down. Make sure you've got your title and your name and date and your answers. Okay. And there are one, two, three, four, five answers today. Don't forget them. And so I'm going to hang up with you now and we will come back and see you for handwriting soon. Talk to you later. Bye bye.